if he lost. But now we're getting these two back. J West versus Razo. J West looking to continue the onslaught. And uh, still himself, a uh, top eight winner side spot in the top eight. That'd be yeah. really good. It's kind of the clash of the legends here in SoCal. Razo, a legendary Peachman in SoCal, alongside Slayers. We also have J West. I think Slayers was here actually, too. Yeah, I think he was here. I don't know if he. Well, he I, had dubs with Zenyu, but I know. No, he had both. Um, Zenyu is not here. Um, he's out there with family. Family is busy in town, so want to spend some time. So, you know, shout out to him, and you know, he, has, he has a priority. Sometimes you just want to hang out with the fam. There's going to be a major literally every month. Yeah. <laughs> here in SoCal, so, you know, it's not too bad if we just miss one. Who would have liked to see his Mario, though? Oh, for sure. I, I'm Nico. working on that one. I was really looking forward to seeing Nico play. Nah, not making an appearance. I'm a little sad myself. Nico's. I've been a fan of Nico for years, man. Nico put in his 9 to 5 with Shulk. Yeah. Cashed it in, man, and Papa Sakurai gave him the buffs we needed. But, of course, if you guys are oh. wondering what Strider will be, he's being sent to the loser side of back end. That's loser's quarters where he awaits to fight either Charlie, K9, K9 or Armand, uh, or, yeah, either Charlie or yeah, K9. Charlie or K9, wow. So Charlie actually getting that 3-2 over AC. AC, man, we didn't get to see much of him in this tournament. Yeah, oh, that's where our stream goes. AC, a.k.a. Armando, Armando. now. I wish you, I mean, we just call him AC. Some, some players really just change their tags, but we still call by their own name. I think AC was his initials anyway. Yeah. So, I can't. Yeah, it's technically not changing his name. Uh, just uh, using his real name first, I guess. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get back into it here. And then Razo Snake versus Peach. Daisy. I'm sorry, Daisy. Yeah, I was like curious how this one's gonna go. I feel like it's really rough for Snake because he's just combo food for this character. But, uh, I don't know. I, uh, I'm curious because I know, like, Daisy can die pretty early. I'm just curious if he's going to even be able to like trade effectively with the grenades. Exactly. And right now, Robin's going to town, getting all these conversions. Oh. Right. Yeah, I think even Snake will die early to that side of the offstage. Yeah. One thing that Snake does have a little bit over Daisy is she his weight, right? You talk about his weight here. It can definitely be both giver and taking of his stocks. Man, shout out to the crowd real quick, man. They're, they're, out, they're out there singing for Pokin and Arms. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm loving the, the other teams from the other games. Yeah, they're yes. definitely showing out all support. All right, but let's get him back into our community here. Razo takes the stuff yeah. over Jay West. Solid. Like, it's kind of going how I expected, man. Jay West is going to really struggle to get stuff started in this character. And when he does get hit, he's going to take tons of percent. Razo also just seems aware of how to space around uh, the grenades, too. I was talking about Snake's weight earlier, right? It plays a little bit of a factor in this matchup. He ranks somewhere between 17 and 18, heaviest character in the game. He is a heavyweight, so he's got some weight on him to survive. But I mean, Daisy's got the damage to put out of it. A beat? No, like he went, he went. Yep. Still living that up to as well. Man, he's so comfortable with grenades. I guess it has to do with him being like a oh wow, coming to roll. But uh, yeah, I guess he uses turrets all the time. He's used to playing with items as well. Gonna lay out this grenade setup. Robin's playing it patient. Oh, nice rip carry. Man. Oh, they show really well. Double up so no shield punk uh shield punk there. Oh, wow, what a call out. Yeah, Robin's just been doing such a good job of catching snakes landing. Trying to get the setup into the grenade. Still. Right, it's good to look. Parry. Yeah, great parry to the upset. Nice, using the grenade to make a run in. Jay, Johnny Westside not too far from a possible comeback. He's looking to take the stuff. He does have Raza back high percent. He has a lot to work with. He has to be careful how much percent he takes. Looks like Raza's floating right in the right spot to avoid the grenades. Yeah. But he's also got to anticipate the up tilt too. He's just got some anti airs with that. Good job bringing this one back. Yeah. This is going to kill there, but Razo gets oh. out of there with a great angle from the deep bomb. Trying to make the ground unsafe as possible. Wow, the short oh. hop there. Still not enough to kill, though. Nikita trap. Yeah. Nope. Got to watch the C4. Okay, Razo backs himself up a little bit. Uses it. Picks up a grenade. Return to center here. 
Ross is running across the stage looking for yeah, Ross is, Ross is playing so smart around the game. It's so hard for him to really get that much going against him. Okay. Voids getting hit by that C4. Ross moves in a little bit. Gets away from the up tilt, but that grenade there, losing it sight of it. Still hanging on this stock though, 200%. You can tell, man, Ross is looking to say, hey, you know what, you want to take your time and set up shop? That's fine. I'm the one in the lead. You have to make a push to me. But nonetheless, West Side ties up the stocks and the percent. Yeah, he's still chilling by a lot. Oh, man, almost I like that option, it. too. Toss the turn up upwards just to make, to make sure he just gets it up in the air one way or another. Nice down to that issue. Trying to get any type of hidden can to bring this one back. It's, it's not rough because, yeah, like, he, if he gets, like, these few conversions, he can definitely kill blood much earlier than a uh, Razzle can. Yeah. It's, this is finding the right spot. Okay, one throw. Resets the edge guard phase. I like it. Tosses the turn up upwards. Forcing nice. Tony Westside to respect it. I like the, oh, he oh. the jump, though, or the shield drop. Yeah. Dang. I like that, uh, what Jay West did there though, towards the end. Like, using the Nikita while he's falling. So, like, he has a hitbox coming from the sky while they're trying to catch his leg. We saw that in his last matchup against Charlie. Still, not able to take that game. first game against Razo. He's slowly bringing it back, but a little bit too late. Still, you can see the adaptation happening from uh, Jay West. It seems like he's just slowly but surely getting his footing in this matchup. Oh, yeah, whereas, he's not uh, too far behind him. Yeah, whereas Razo just looks comfortable from the start. Alright, both players looking to pick and choose the next stage here. And then it'll go on to the pretty much the classic here, the PS2 Pokemon Stadium team. Yeah, very neutral stage most of the time. Alright, going into game two here. See if J West can make the adjustment, bring it into a 1 1. Or is Riley going to go on a, a rampage? Oh my goodness, 42% double grenade hit to the back here. Okay. Alright, gets to sleep here, looking for a possible tech chase. Doesn't get it though, but there's a C4 on the ground. Riley's got to pay attention to that. And immediately gets away from the C4. Oh, oh my the grenades. This is a much better start from uh, J West here. Oh, hands down. This looks like so much more comfortable than you did before. Okay. Most of the key to there, but he's able to get out of it. Oh, still hits him even with the B-reverse. Trying to find some position on stage. That up tilt looking really scary right now. Oh, got the shield poke. No players putting their stocks to the wire here. Throws grenade right back in his face. Y'all watch this. Oh man, he's just throwing all the grenades right back at him. He's not scared of it at all. But oh man, y'all watch the C4 too. Nice. The oh, four there. He's enough. able to take it. Razo has 107% to his aim. I like it comes out of the stage just to avoid all the grenades. Oh, oh missing that grab. Razo is still playing it safe. He's taking little hits he can at this point because he knows he can die to the majority of his But uh, not ready for the backer. Out. Yeah. Backer will do it. Okay, Razo waits his time here. I kind of like it, right? Trying to see if Johnny Westhouse was going to pull a grenade, yeah. right? Looking to buy the time there. Yeah, Razo is playing so smart in this match. All right, I chase. Oh, no. I like it. Just sets a grenade if he misses the tech. Good opportunity there. Holds the grenade, but that will definitely oh. still explode in hands. These little victories that Jay West gets from the grenade pools are coming out and adding up. Yeah, this is so much percent. Dot face, that was pretty big. Not gonna kill though. Still kept him at the ledge. Really good patient play from Roswell, making it so hard to land and get the center stage. Okay. 75 is pretty good for Jay West. Oh, I like it. Him. Oh, Point nice. Because in his shield. Alright, Roswell does an opportunity here. Sets up the turn up just to make sure that. He's gonna go up high. He's got a cover. Oh, oh I like it. nice. Good anti air. Yeah, yeah. He actually used the crouch at first to avoid the down air and then immediately came with the up tilt. That was actually really smart from Jaywest. But corner. No drift. They just followed him completely. Nice. 
Nice, gets the throw. Big hits there though. Oh, Snake, so heavy. Gonna take the full brand of that Nair follow. -up. Yeah. Set so far. Oh, bad trade there for Razzle, but he sneaks in the forward air. Oh, and just chases him deep off stage with the forward air. Another one. So crazy. Razzle, again, he's just making it so difficult for J West to escape disadvantage. Every time he's falling from the air, he's taking so much percent. And uh, that just goes to show how patient he is in this matchup. Yeah. He just pays a long way, but it's also how Razzle gets his little victories over Snake. He definitely knows that if I'm aware of how Snake's game plan is, how this character works by, by design, I am ultimately able to form a game plan around it, and that's what razzle has been doing, right? And that's what we saw him play on the Angel platform. He wanted to see if Johnny West was going to go ahead and pull the grenade pin. Great opportunity to stop that. We'll see what uh, things can bring up for Johnny West. Like, game three here, do or die. And double out from that low profile, avoiding getting hit by those down airs. That's kind of one of the things that we saw on the other side implement into his game plan against Peach, using those the low par fire from the punch. Yeah, it's really effective against the down air. Yeah, counterplay versus punch. counterplay. Yeah, it allows you to really with punches in case of pressure. Yeah, throw, no. Down throw? Yeah, he wants to get the uh, grenade hitbox and, while, and avoid a uh, Getting knocked back on himself. Oh, oh, it's a Saturn, but not gonna be able to use it there. Saturn just kind of walks himself off the stage. He's like, "I see you guys are fighting. I do not want to be a part of this." The maids are flying here, though, for J West. I mean, back to how it was these last few games, right? Both players at the high percent, but who takes the stock? I'm even dictating how the game plays out. Oh, nice, good pressure yo. there, and he forces the shield option Razzle with the approach. I like it sets up the counter there, just to oh, avoid him with the trade! Man. Yeah, trade definitely in Jay West's favor there. But, that's the roll, man, not able to do anything with that stock lead. Razzle just knows where he's gonna go. Throw. Nice. Leads the DI there and falls oh. over the background. No way. All, all the tech, tech chase. But doesn't give a tech this time to avoid getting another follow up. Razzo and so scary when he gets that hit on him. He takes it so far. So he is going to get back to the ground. He was setting up the grenade traps everywhere as best as he can. But yeah, Razzo was playing around it so smart. Yeah. He knows, man. You want to set up time? That's fine. I'll, I'll wait. I have the lead. Okay, I like it. He's been using the trams to open follow ups. Razzle so close to be getting hit by that C4 for going for the neutral. Yeah, but his spacing's so good. Like, he's yeah. spacing right outside the explosion in the hitbox. Razzle's made some adaptation. Oh, oh, the parry! I thought the parry up to it was coming. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> okay, a lot of pressure coming out from Johnny Westside using the grenade and the C4 all at once. Trap here with the turn up. He knows the next big hit could be enough to send Snake into that last stock. Oh, throwing out I like all it. The He's been going for crouch and the shield. I'm trying to see if Raz is going to go for back air or down air. To avoid it or to avoid either one of those options. Turn up trap. Oh, throws oh. up the grenade too. <laughs> oh, he got the slight hit. He's going to get a free hit here. Yeah. Oh, yep. And of course, Daisy back air is able to surpass the threshold that is the Cypher. Cypher survives at 30 percent only. That was so good from Razo. Knowing exactly where Jay West is going to go. Wow, the parry on the grenade toss, too. Oh my goodness, 23%. Top base out there again, but not going to be able to do much with it. Oh. Jay West try, again tried to get that crouch into up tilt, but it wasn't fast enough. Razo following him perfectly from the ledge. Stay close there. Chase on a play. Oh, he wow, needs him. What a combo. Into the turn of Razo. So good. Dude, yo, that Nair just smacks the missile away, like, no. Okay, good oh, follow up from really good setup to be up there, but wow, he took so much damage to try and get the, to the last stock. The Great pressure on the there. shield. Turn up setup of the upwards, oh. I like it. Stop J-West. Oh. 
so scary for Jay West to get out of the ledge here. He's just trying to jump through the center stage, but nice C4. Lost track of the C4 there. Jay West gets a little bit of a percent. Oh. Those victories will add up at some point. Yeah, he's racking it up. 59% is really close to dying. Ooh, that was so snake. quick. Go. Okay. No, he's going to go for the grab release. So scary. Back throw, is that enough? That's oh, man, enough just to do enough. it. 3-0, Razo into the winner's side of top eight. Man, 